What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Devin and I hope that you will consider sticking around and subscribing. And if you're not new, as always, welcome back. You know I love you. So the concept, the inspiration, the idea for today's video is a neutral fall wedding guest glam. I just wanted to do a full face neutral glam look because I feel like in the fall and even into the winter when you're attending weddings, you're wearing darker colors. A lot of times the weddings are more black tie and you can really go for the glam and amp it up and it um, fits very well with the season and the style and the dresses and all of that good stuff. So really quickly, the palette that we are going to be using is the Precious Metals palette from ColourPop. Sorry, I'm trying to like not blind you with this reflection because it's kind of a shiny packaging, but this palette is gorgeous. As you can see, there are several different undertones and there's lots of good mattes in here, lots of shimmers and even a fun glitter that we used on the eyes today. So really excited to use this on camera today. This was, I believe their summer release this year i could be making that up but i think that that's true um and i bought it when it was launched so i have used this quite a bit myself but this is my first time using it on camera today so i do show you the full face today complexion included so if you are interested in seeing how i got literally this entire look let's get into it right now okay hello friends let's get it going get our hair clips in so i actually tried to film <laughs> this video last week and it just did not work out for me. My eyes were really watery that day and I kept having to start and stop and it just didn't work out. So here we are on my content day the following week and I'm hoping that we have a better time. <laughs> so as I'm sure I've already mentioned in the intro that I haven't filmed yet, we are going to be doing a fall wedding guest makeup look today. So I'm just getting right into it. I'm gonna get myself prepped with my eye tapes. And when I was trying to film this last week, I was looking at a Pinterest picture of Shay Mitchell, I think it was, for inspiration. And again, I just like didn't have a good time filming last week at all. So I think what I'm gonna do is just to let it flow and go with my own ideas and my own makeup style instead of looking at an inspiration picture today. That's just kind of what I am feeling. So I'm gonna line up my tapes first. Okay, and let's get some hydration on the lips really quick as well. This is the e.l.f. Squeeze Me Lip Balm in Strawberry this time. I feel like this definitely smells like the old school strawberry lip smackers. I'm gonna get some of my P. Louise on the back of my hand. And I'm not gonna fill my brows in first today. I know I showed like the full brow last time, but when I was watching the footage back, I was like, I mean, it worked because it was a glam look but I was kind of like mm, they kind of look a little dark and I actually just got my brows waxed last week and I got them a little bit thinner just like ever so slightly thinner and I have been liking that I feel like they're framing my face a lot better so I just feel like my brows have been pretty thick lately and I want to just go a little lighter on the brows today. So I'm still going to carve underneath and kind of give myself an outline to follow when I do fill my brows in towards the end. And I'm just gonna get this P. Louise primer all over my eyelids. I do need to pick up a more matte concealer to do this with because I don't love doing P. Louise like everywhere. I prefer to use a concealer because I feel like it's a little bit more matte but we are gonna work with what we have today. We are three months out from our wedding and it's just like all cylinders are firing, but also it's at the point where like literally every single penny is going towards the wedding. So there's <laughs> not a ton of extra for makeup for myself. I definitely have been having to like replenish and update things for my kit, but that has kind of been taking up all of my makeup budget and <laughs> There hasn't been any left for the personal makeup collection. Okay, here's our palette for today. It is the Precious Metals palette from ColourPop. I know it looks a little similar to the palette that I used last time. This definitely has more of a range of undertones. And I know it's another ColourPop mega palette. However, those are my favorite palettes. They just always hit for me, especially something like this that is loaded with neutrals loaded with shimmers and also has a good range of mattes in here as well so if you're tired of ColourPop eyeshadow palettes this is probably 
not the channel for you because <laughs> the majority of my tutorials are featuring ColourPop palettes, at least for now, until I can have the budget to try out new things again. But I am just really quick gonna pick up this shade Feel the Chemistry on a fluffy brush and this is what I'm gonna use to set down the lid. Looking at this palette, obviously my eye is drawn over here first in the warm. I am going to try my best to do more of a neutral fall eyeshadow look actually. Just to differentiate and have some variety, I feel like that will be fun to play into today. So I'm going to do my best to stick on this half of the palette for today's look. So let's get into it. Okay, so actually I know I just said I'm going to stick on this side of the palette, but I kind of am drawn to this shade to start. So I'm going to take the shade too much just to map out the look. And then I promise we'll stick over here. This row in particular is calling to me today. So, so just picking up that shade too much on a nice fluffy blending brush and I am going to start working that through the crease. This is a Fox one from the Sigma and Brianna Fox collection. I don't think you can get these anymore, but it's just a fluffy rounded blending brush. You just want to make sure that it's fluffy enough to be able to really spread out and diffuse the color without it packing the pigment on too densely, if that makes sense. And then just also packing some of that into the outer corner as well. Again, we're just mapping it out. We're starting to build some color on there to get started and then just do the same thing on the other eye. Let's go for it. I'm gonna take the shade Total Rockstar. I'm gonna try not to get too much of that on my brush because it is kind of a dark shade. And I'm gonna start building that up in the outer corner. And then once I've worked off most of that pigment in the outer corner, I'm gonna take whatever's left on the brush and lightly wiggle it through the crease and just not blending it up quite as far this time. And then once again, same thing on the other eye. So for the lid, I've had my eye on this shade right here. It's called So Metal and I just got a little bit of it on my finger and swatched on the back of my hand and it actually is a glitter but I think honestly I'm okay with that I think that that will actually look really cool and like dimensional over top of the mattes with the matte shadows kind of just like peeking through so let's do it so I'm just gonna pick some of that up on my finger and I'm gonna tap that across my lid. Okay, yeah, that is so fun. I love it. Dang, I need a reason to, I got a couple weddings coming up. I'm gonna have to do this look. And as I've been saying throughout the process of this look, do the same thing on the other eye. I do really like ColourPop's pressed glitters too. I feel like they do stay on the eyelid really well. Like they almost apply like a regular eyeshadow, you know, they've got like a good grip to them, if that makes sense. Okay, so I do think we are going to play with some eyeliner today. So I'm gonna take the NYX Vivid Matte Liquid Liner and I want to use this in the inner corner. So I really wanna make sure that it's precise. So I'm just working, I'm like dipping it in and then just working the extra product off of the brush. So you can see now we've got a nice, precise, thin tip with not too much product on it. And I'm gonna use that in the inner corner and I'm gonna bring it out about two thirds of the way across my eyelid. Okay, actually on second thought, I feel like you do wanna have a little bit more of that product on the brush so that just so that it glides more easily since it dries down really matte i feel like it needs a little bit more on there just so you can like drag it across your lash line without it skipping too much and i'm going to stop right about there okay cool so now i'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil this is the nyx epic wear in the shade pitch black and that is what i'm going to use for the rest of the way. I like to do it this way when I do my own makeup because I like to really smoke out the outer corner. And so I don't like to have kind of the harsh line of a liquid eyeliner in the outer corner because you can still kind of see it. I feel like when you're blending out eyeshadow. So I like to do the preciseness of the liquid eyeliner on the inner part of the eye and then do a pencil that can be manipulated more in the outer corner. So not worried about being super precise. I'm just filling the rest of that in because like I said, we're going to blend in a second. So I just want to make sure that we are finishing off 
the full line along the lash line. Next, I'm gonna pick up the shade My Best Asset, and I'm just picking that up on kind of like a chubby pencil brush. And I'm gonna work that in the very outer corner. And I'm just gonna spend a couple minutes really focusing on building that up. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a tiny little blending brush. I'm not gonna put any more products on it, and I'm just gonna use that to blend out the outer corner. And then now that I have blended that shade out, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna get a tiny bit of this matte black down in the corner. It's called Let's Do It. And I'm just gonna wiggle a very little bit of that right along the outer corner, right along my tapes, and right into the um, lash line. Just for a little extra smoke. Ugh. I'm 30 now and my eyelids are starting to get a little wrinkly. So now let's take the tapes off. And I'm gonna use my makeup wipe to clean up underneath. I think I am gonna show you guys the full face today. So if you haven't already, buckle up because it's gonna be a long one. Okay, so that being said, let's get started on the face. So let's start with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. This is in the shade Light Glow. And I'm just gonna work that all over the skin. I have been really liking using these more glowy products as primers. I have been finding recently, I don't know if my skin is just changing or what, but I have been finding recently that like, the primers that have more of a texture to them, like the Sticky Elf one or the Poreless Putty, like primers like that have been separating my foundations a lot more than like I've ever noticed them doing that lately. So I have been sticking to like this, my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, my Elf Halo Glow, like those types of things to prime or my favorite um, Too Faced Hangover Primer, which essentially just applies like a moisturizer because anything other than that has been like messing with my foundation recently. So, I don't know. So the foundation that I'm gonna recommend you use as a fall wedding guest is going to be this Makeup Forever HD Skin. I've been using this a bunch recently. Um, I am currently mixing two shades. So my lighter shade is 1N10, which is a little bit light for me, even my natural skin tone. And then I also have the shade 2N22, which is more of like a medium, um, which is more of like a medium shade. So anyway, I just mix equal parts of these and that's been working for me. So I got about a pump and a half to two pumps of each on the back of my hand. I like to use a lot of foundation, just is what it is. Um, I have a lot of texture and some redness and some breakouts, so I just like to make sure that everything is covered. So mixing that up on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna start to paint it on my face. And the reason I like this foundation is because it's like a soft, satin matte it's definitely not a super glowy foundation and as you can see has really nice coverage but that being said it's also not super heavy on the skin either i feel like this is a really versatile foundation i do keep it in my kit alongside my Too faced born this way foundation and my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless and i kind of just mix them all together just depending on the client to be honest but i do really like this foundation and i find that this is a foundation that likes to be left alone meaning again like i wouldn't put too many fancy primers or anything Underneath, I would just let it do its thing. I personally find that it actually works best over top of like my skin that has been just freshly moisturized. And same thing on my clients in my kit as well. So let's get a little contour, brontour going. So I'm gonna use <laughs> my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Clips, Sun <laughs> what? <laughs> sun <laughs> Kiss Glow bronzer my goodness i have mine in the shade two medium and i brought this with me on my bachelorette which is why i have this lovely sticker of my handsome fiance 
on it. I bought a bunch of these stickers for the Bachelorette and I was, you know, sticking them. We were sticking them on our arms and stuff like that. And I was also sticking them just all over Dewey Beach, Delaware. So <laughs> one also made it onto my compact and he's staying there. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this on. This is just kind of like a, it's like a concealer brush, but it's a thick concealer brush. I don't know. It's from BH Cosmetics, which I don't even know if it exists anymore. But anyway, I'm going to use this <laughs> to start painting on my contour. <sighs> I just started blending all of this out thinking I was filming and I wasn't. So... Sorry guys. I'll have to do like a full breakdown of how I do my cream contour in another video. I think that would probably be a very helpful video to make, but basically I am just blending out all of those stripes that I painted on my face so that we can start looking a little more sculpted and a little less crazy. I always like to grab a thinner brush for blending out my nose contour. This is the Sigma and Kristen Dominique Eye and Nose Contour Brush. So it does really lend itself well to that. And it's okay if the contour lines, even when they're blended out, still look a little harsh because we haven't done concealer yet. And concealer is kind of going to be our like magic step that like snatches everything you know? So let me make sure I'm recording. Yes. So now we're going to get it going with concealer. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Radiant and Shape Tape Creamy. Um, I kind of have to mix two shades right now. So I have the shade 16N and 22N. Let's see how we're looking with 16. I just don't want it to be too bright. Yeah, that's pretty bright. So I'm going to place this in my inner corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of 22N to get it placed. And then I'll top it with 16N so that it's a little bit just to like mix the two of them. I totally could have mixed the two of these on the back of my hand and figured it out from there. But you know, we're already doing it. So it's fine. And I am from the 2016 era of makeup kids. So I like to go for it with my concealer. And then just like I said, dotting a little bit of that 16N on top. Okay. And now we blend. So I'm going to take my beauty blender to do my under eyes. Nothing hits like this black beauty blender pro. I'm assuming our beauty blenders still around. Can you still buy them? I've had these forever. I just absolutely love it for doing my own makeup. Ugh, you guys, isn't concealer and contour so fun? Like I feel like once you start blending it out, this is when you can really start to see the glam coming together. I just... I love it. I'm such a makeup nerd. And then because I want to be a little bit more precise here, I'm going to use a brush to blend out the rest. So this is a Sigma Soft Blend Concealer. I also do really like this brush. And honestly, a lot of the times I will just use my finger to blend my concealer down my nose. You just want to make sure that you try to keep that line as straight as possible so that you're not like making your nose look crooked. Definitely don't want that. Okay, and then two things. So the first thing is once I have blended out all of that concealer, I will just take whatever is left on the sponge and go underneath my cheekbone contour just to make sure that that is nice and snatched and it's not dragging my face down at all. Hopefully you can see a little bit of a difference between this cheekbone and this one. This one just looks a little bit more lifted because we kind of cleaned up underneath there. We're gonna do the same thing on this cheek because again, we're, we're trying to bring symmetry to the face, right? We don't want to make one cheekbone look higher than the other. We don't want to make your nose look crooked. Like we want to make sure we're really focusing on things looking even and symmetrical as much as possible. I mean, very few people People have a perfectly symmetrical face. I definitely don't, but we're at least trying to give that illusion with the makeup. And then I just said two things. The second thing is to just take my foundation brush after I've done all of that and just run it across my forehead 
and especially underneath here with the jawline blend that down a little bit just whatever leftover foundation is on the brush is just gonna kind of blend things out and soften any harsh lines and again just make things look snatched and sculpted but also smooth and blended so next i have this cute little cream blush combo that i think i've talked about a couple times in my instagram posts or maybe tiktok i don't know i feel like i've talked about this a couple times but i don't think i've mentioned it on youtube yet so i'm gonna take the shades city sizzle from maybelline and peach perfect from elf so this is the elf liquid camo blush and then this is the maybelline sun kissed blush again in the shade city sizzle and i'm gonna apply these both to my cheeks so i'm gonna do a dot of this one on each cheek and then a dot of peach perfect on each cheek as well and i'm gonna have to be a little bit more precise with my blending of these two because I've been doing my cream blush before my concealer, but I really wanted this highlight and contour to be snatched for this look, which is why I did concealer first. So I'm just gonna take my blending brush. This is a setting brush from Real Techniques and it's great for this step. And I'm just gonna mix those two shades together on my cheek and blend out my blush. And then once I've blended that out, I'm just gonna take my finger and just make sure we don't have any harsh lines under the eyes, just kind of tap it out. Okay, we are getting there and I'm getting hungry for lunch. So let's keep plugging along. So now it's time to set the face. So I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. This is in the shade Butter. I have been really liking this. I feel like it's a little bit drier and a little bit more matte than the Huda one, but not in a bad way. I just feel like the Huda one is like a little bit more finely milled or something. Um, but I really, really have been liking this Fenty one, especially as, because, especially with like the warmer weather and humidity and stuff like that, I have been using this Fenty one like pretty much all summer, so. And that's still pretty warm here in Philly, even though it's September. Um, so anyway, yeah, really been liking this powder. I just picked it up on my beauty blender and I'm going to press it in underneath my eyes. This is where I really tend to get oily is like this area of my face right here, right here. So this is where I really like to make sure I powder down the most. And then for the rest of my face, I'll take a nice fluffy powder brush and swirl in the cap like I just did and just get that all over the rest of my face and then also dust off any excess. Next, we're gonna do bronzer. I'm gonna take my Mario Light Medium. What is this? The Soft Sculpt, Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Light Medium. I use this a ton. Sorry guys, like I said, I don't have a lot of variety right now because every penny is going towards the wedding. So now that we've powdered down the rest of our face with that setting powder, I wanna make sure that we're re-emphasizing all of the creams that we just did underneath with powders. Using a translucent setting powder to set everything down obviously is necessary, but it can um, just kind of tone back everything that you did underneath so using the powders over top gives your makeup longevity and it also brings that pop and dimension back to your makeup. And then just get a little eyeshadow brush for your nose contour and dip it in your bronzer and just lightly go over the sides of your nose. Okay, let's hop on some highlighter. I'm gonna use my Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop in the shade Lunch Money. This <laughs> clearly has been a favorite of mine and I have gone through several of these in the course of my life. <laughs> and it's just my favorite and I don't have another favorite highlighter right now. So we're gonna do it. So just getting that on my finger and I'm gonna pop that along my cheekbone. And then for powder blush, I am going to top this off with a new fave. So this is the Chip powder blush from the ColourPop and Beauty and the Beast collection. 
I did buy the entire collection. I never did a video on it because my life was insane around the time this came out, but I do have the whole collection of this. I don't know that it would be relevant to do a video on it at this point, but just know that I am loving this blush shade. In particular right now, I've been wearing it every day. So I'm just gonna pick that up on a little brush and pop that on the cheeks just to make sure that our blush is still pulling through. All right, you guys, I am liking this glam so far. So let's fill in our brows now. So nothing new, I'm just gonna use my Rare Beauty brow pencil in the shade Deep Brown. And like I said, I'm gonna go a little lighter. So really all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna speed you guys through this, but all I'm gonna do is outline my brows first and then give them a light fill. I'm just gonna take some of my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. If you like a brow gel that definitely still holds your brows in place, but isn't like too thick or too like too jelly, if that makes sense. Like it's definitely not hairspray for your brows in the sense that it's not like super thick and uncomfortable, but it definitely does hold them in place still. Let's do lashes. I kind of want to try this style from Kiss. It's called Ruffle. I have like all of these lashes that I cut up for my kit and then I don't know what was happening. I was organizing and I like put this off to the side and I didn't even, I haven't even been keeping this little thing in my kit. So today I'm like, you know what? I'll use these for myself. Just to save time, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on off of camera and I'll be right back. So I have been seeing a lot of other makeup artists curl the fake lashes once they're on. And so I wanna try doing that just to give them like a little bit more of a lift. You definitely wanna do this before you put mascara on your eyelashes. Definitely don't curl your eyelashes when you have mascara on them because you could chop them off. Now we're gonna put a little bit of mascara on. I'm just gonna take this little baby guy. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. It's just a little sample that I got from a recent order. But the way that these like bristles are and the shape of this brush, I feel like I'm gonna be able to really get in and get precise and like actually get my natural lashes with the mascara to blend them in. So I'm gonna do that right now. Really liking how it's looking right now. I do want to balance it out on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take my black eyeliner again and just hit my waterline with that. See, even just that little bit, I feel like really amped it up a little bit more. Let's grab our smudging brush again. And I'm gonna grab this shade Total Rockstar again. And I'm gonna stamp that along the lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little brush like this. This is a little mini travel size brush from Zoeva. It is the 234. Lux Smoky Shader, which is a perfect name for what I'm about to do. So I'm not gonna put any product on that. I am just gonna use that to smoke out the lower lash line. All right, I have an idea for lip combo. We are going to see if it works. So for lip liner, I'm first gonna take Makeup Talk from Morphe. Just kind of wipe off the rest of that lip balm. It's good to have your lip balm sitting while you're doing the rest of your makeup so your lips aren't dry, but you wanna wipe it off before you do your lips just so that it doesn't like create any slippiness and doesn't make like your lip liner and your lipstick slide all over your face. So like I said, I'm just gonna line my lips with this. Okay, so I only filled that in around the perimeter and just like feathered it in a little bit in the corners, but I'm leaving the center of my lips bare. Then I'm gonna take this shade from Maybelline. This is the Super Stay Vinyl Ink and the shade is Cheeky. Yeah, I feel like this goes really well with this lip liner. And then I'm gonna take a little Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. I'm actually just gonna get this on a brush because I wanna be a little like artistic about this. So <laughs> getting that on my brush, clearly getting a lot. And I am going to feather this in the center of my lips to try to lighten this up a little bit.
Okay, so I'm really taking my time to work this KKW shade in and build it up and lighten it up because this vinyl shade was a little bit darker than I, I just didn't remember how dark it was really. But hopefully you guys can see how we've really like built the lip up. And as always, I'm debating whether or not I wanna put a gloss on top. So let me go through my gloss collection really quick and decide. Let's try NYX Madeline. This is a really nice like neutral, cool, leaning nude um hopefully it doesn't mess up the vibe but i feel like i do want a little gloss on top and these nyx butter glosses rarely miss as we know so just popping that in the center and i do feel like that works really well with this look you guys i've had good luck today sometimes i do really like recreating pinterest looks and following along and using another look for inspo but sometimes it's better if i just kind of let myself go and let my brain go and just riff and just do what comes to me in the moment and today is a day where that happened and it worked out for me <laughs> all right my friends finished look how are we feeling about it i really like it i definitely feel like it's glam but i also still i mean depending on your your style and your taste right i still don't feel like this is overdone I feel like it is appropriate for a fancy special event like a wedding, especially if the wedding is really formal or black tie. As far as this palette goes, I really like it. I have used it a bunch off of camera because um, I've had it since it came out. Um, this is my first time using it for YouTube and it did not disappoint. Definitely let me know if you want to see more looks with this. I feel like it's very versatile. Each row kind of has its own vibe and undertone. Um, but I still do feel like it's very cohesive and you can kind of work across the palette as well to get some really cool looks if you are a neutral lover and a shimmer lover like me. So with all of that being said, that is going to be it for this tutorial. If you have made it this far in the video and you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future uploads from me. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Both of them are at Glam by Devin. So if you want some more makeup content, if you want to see some of my client work, if you like more short form things, that is where you can find me kind of in between YouTube videos. And with that, I will catch you in my next one. Mwah. Love you. Bye.